Hi everybody, happy Saturday. So today we've talked, this week we've talked about lips. And you guys, I never wore lipstick. Like, I gave up on it. I never wore it. So to spend this week talking about lip products, we talked about how to fix dry lips. We talked about how to use geometry to get a really full lip look. We talked about how to rock a bold lip or a red lip. We talked about all these things. And it's so funny for me because before my business, and even once I started my business, I never wore lipstick. Never. And here's why. I am a texture person, you guys. So like I am one of those people who like there's like a couple foods that like I can't eat because I hate the texture. Um, my husband will tell you them. Chickpeas are one. There's just like things like that. I'm a texture person in all aspects of my life. And one of the things that I hated the most is that every time I would wear a lipstick, it felt sticky. It didn't stay well. It, I'd get my hair cut in it. I hated lipstick. So finally, I went, this is ridiculous. I'm reapplying this product multiple times a day that drives me crazy that I hate. No more lipstick for me. I just, I freed myself from lipstick. And um, I didn't wear lipstick at all for like years, okay? And I, that didn't mean I didn't have any lip color. I have always been a liner fan. I love it because it stays longer. It doesn't give that sticky feel. So that was always me. I was a liner girl, right? But I didn't wear lipstick. So what changed? Well, I when I started my business, I'm going to go ahead and put my liner on because I'm going to be using a couple different things during the video today. But I'm going to go ahead and get my lips lined. When I started my business, um, the Unique did not have a lipstick. They didn't have one, you guys. They had lip liners and they had lip glosses, no lipstick. And I was like, awesome. This is a place I can get behind. Hate lipstick, never wearing it, no lipstick, that's for me. So yeah, they did not even carry a lipstick when I started. And I was okay with that. Um, I loved the lip liner. That's what I'd been using. That's what got me started. I talked about that a little bit earlier this week. Uh, so I was like, okay, I'm cool with this. Let's just stick with lip liner. It stays. It doesn't feel sticky. Hi, Nikki. It doesn't, my hair doesn't get stuck in it. It's on there all day. Like I was good with it. Just lip liner, right? And I still love our lip liners, obviously, as I put one on. But, um, and they said very clearly, we will not come out with a lipstick unless we can come out with a lipstick that af actually offers something that is not currently on the market. I'm like, makes sense to me, right? Let's do this. Stick without lipstick. So then we had lip stain and I was like, okay, I'll try lip stain. And I was all about it. If you are looking for a product that you can put a couple coats on and it will stay all day, this is your product. If um, it doesn't, it, it sinks in, but it doesn't dry your lips out. It doesn't moisturize either. So if you're a really dry lip person, this probably isn't going to be the product for you. But it is a really, really great product. So they came out with this. I'm like, okay, I, I can get behind a lip stain. Never tried one, tried it, loved it, fell in love, loved the lip stain, right? So I went from, okay, I'm perfectly fine with no lipstick. We're just going to go lip stain and lip liner. Go with it there, right? And then all of a sudden, you guys... All of a sudden, they said, guess what? We're releasing a lipstick. And I was like, oh, I hate lipstick. So I wasn't a, I wasn't a, um, I wasn't on board immediately, right? Well, I went to one of my trainings, got one for free, and I'm like, now I have it. I have to try it. And oh my goodness, these opulence lipsticks, this is actually the original. These are the newer matte ones. Um, they didn't feel sticky. They hydrated my lips. And they stayed on way longer than regular lipstick. So I was like, okay, I'm shocked, but I'm on board. We can do a lipstick, right? So I have really fallen in love with these. Well, then, I'm telling you guys the whole lip story, but the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm going, I want to explain to you each kind of the products and who they're going to be good for and why you might fall in love with them. Because you should always pick a product after you know everything there is about your options, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and throw on my opulence mat. Love this stuff. Now this will stay really well and it will, um, there we go. It'll stay really well and it will moisturize my lips. But if I don't set it when I take a bite. What color are you wearing? Um, right now I am rocking uppity. Nice. Like That's it? good. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, he is all about lip color. So 
He really is very interested. He likes the bolder lip, though. But he's good with neutrals, too. Um, right? They're so moisturizing, Nikki. So this, if you if you set it, which I am going to actually end up doing, I will set it with a setting powder. If you set it, it's going to stay really, really well. But you do need to set it for it to not, like, transfer if you, like, take a drink or eat something, right? So that's that's the difference in these pro the opulence lipsticks, but they're still really moisturizing and long wearing, which is really important, right? So then, so what, let me see. We started with liner and lip gloss, and then we got into lip stain, which is great for like all day wear, and it's not gonna add anything. It's not gonna like moisturize, so it's not gonna dry out. It's just gonna be there, right? Then we went into the opulence lipsticks, which are gonna moisturize, and they are gonna be long wear still, but they will transfer if you don't set them. So I'm setting mine right now. And then we went in, and then, then we came out with this stuff, the Splash Liquid Lipstick. Now, I will tell you guys, the first time I tried it, I'm like, nope, no, not for me. Well, guess what? It's because I did, my lips weren't the right kind for it at the time. Um, this is going to be, a, first of all, it's another one you want to set. It's going to moisturize, but you really want to make sure that you have um, exfoliated your lips first. And it, once you do, once you, if your lips aren't like really cracked, which mine always were, really cracked and dry, it's going to stay really, really well. If they're really cracked and dry, it isn't. So that is, this one is a fantastic option if you want something creamy, if you want something matte, if you want something that's really going to, you're going to be able to, you know, feel when you uh, move your lip, lips together, but you want to have your lips in good shape first before you jump in on the splash. That's important. All right. So I was like, okay, uh, once I figured that out and I got it, I'm like, all right, I like this. We're good to go. I have my liner and I have my opulence lipstick and I have my lip stain and now I have my splash lipstick. And then this came out. Those of you who have tried this know what I'm about to say about this. This was a game changer. This is a powder. It's crushed lip powder. So it's a lip powder that when you put it on, turns into a cream and is super moisturizing. The first time I used it, I was so amazed I made Kenny use it because I was like, you have to feel this because it's an obvious powder. See that? See how you can see it moving in there? It's like a moves like a powder, right? But then when you put it on, it turns super creamy. And you have to be careful when you take it out because it's got a powder on this. And if you are talking like I tend to do, and you breathe in, you can get some powder in with you. So be careful with that. But the product itself is amazing. It will stay really well. It is moisturizing. I had a customer who said um, she bought a red one of these and she started wearing it to work. And she's like, I was actually kind of offended because people I worked with were like, oh my gosh, you look gorgeous today. She's like, it was almost offensive how shocked they were about how pretty I look just because I put on this lip color, but it is. These lip colors are really strong. They're highly pigmented. They're moisturizing and they're going to be, and they're going to stay well. So yeah, this is from a girl who literally never wore lipstick, who swore I would never wear lipstick again because I was like, I'm not wasting my money. Something that's not going to stay and something that is um, really feels sticky and I don't like the feel of it. And my hair gets stuck in it. No more lipstick for me. And now... I have moved on to all of these. And uh, for the record, I have about 15 of each of these. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 of these. And I have more of these than I can count and more of these than I can count. So I started out saying no lipstick ever again. And now I have found lip products, all of them different. Each of them, I decide each day, people say, which is your favorite? I don't have a favorite. Every day I decide based on my lips and how I'm feeling, which one to use. But I went from, I will never use lipstick to, again to all of these lipsticks because they're different. And because I learned about which one is going to be best for which look I'm trying to create and what, what shape my lips are in. So I hope that that gives you guys some ideas too. If you have any lip colors you need to try out, please let me know. But definitely think about what shape your lips are in and what you're trying to accomplish. If you want more pigmentation, you might want to go one way. If you want something that's moisturizing, you might go another way. If your lips are really dry and cracked, you probably want to go towards a different product. So I kind of covered, tried to cover all of that in this video. But if you have any specific questions, 
please reach out. That's what I'm here for, and I love to help. All right, ladies, so let's rock these beautiful lip looks, even if they're under masks, um, especially for Valentine's Day tomorrow. I hope everybody has a fun Saturday plan, and I'm going to go watch basketball. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.